I really want to um, thank you for the invitation here. It really is great to see so many people committed to such an important set of diseases. It not only includes lymphedema, but other diseases of the lymphatic system. And in fact, that, that meeting that we had in, in 2015, we were discussing the lymphatics and their role in GI diseases. NIDDK is the National Institute of Diabetes, Digestive, and Kidney Disease. And notwithstanding the heart and the lung, we take care of everything below the neck. So we have to have a wide range of of conditions that we're res uh, responsible for. And NIH uh, research really is interested in advancing all areas of lymphatic uh, disease research, and they really extend across many parts. Um, um, there are many different components. I think you heard about NHLBI, and I won't repeat the, the great words that uh, Dr. Gibbons has said, but NIAID, the Allergy and Infectious Disease Institute, is is uh, very actively involved in this. They're involved in this because the lymphatics are not only important as a drainage system, um, but it's also one of the keys to the immune system. And we're learning a lot about how it affects certain diseases, particularly autoimmune diseases. And our, our focus on this is in people that have inflammatory diseases of the bowel, um, diseases like Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis. Um, they really, we're only beginning to scratch the surface to understand how the lymphatics instructs the, the um, immune system and how potentially we can help it out in certain ways, and not necessarily going after tissue in the, in the gastrointestinal tract, but t tissues in the lymphatic uh, system uh, to, to improve it. Now, uh, there's a part of the NIH called the NIH uh, Lymphatic Coordinating Committee, and, and uh, Bill made a comment about this. Uh, they, we've actually in, encouraged research. They helped us to set up this meeting in 2015, and, and Bill and Kathy graciously participated, looking for uh, lymphatics, again, in digestive diseases. But I think, you know, we also have to as we get to that 70 million or 100 million, we have to take the opportunity to look for where funds are currently being um, uh, sponsored at the NIH to make sure that lymphatic disease is represented. And I'm pleased to tell you that there's a trans-NIH helping to end addiction long-term initiative. It's called the HEAL. Everything in government has an acronym, and this is called HEAL. This is actually a part of the research that's currently ongoing, really sponsored mostly and, and directed mostly by our sister agency, the National Institute of Neurologic Diseases and Stroke. And they have one of the major aspects of what they do is in pain research. And as you know, there is a problem in this country currently uh, with people with having various types of pain. And so Congress did put in a substantial amount of funds in their budget uh, for that. And a portion of that this year is going to be going towards lymphedema research because it relates to the pain associated with people that have this condition. So in a sense, we are your ambassadors. As this money potentially could be directed to Dr. Gibbons' uh, um, institute, to my institute, and to others, we also have to make sure that we bring to our colleagues potential applications to advance research in associated uh, diseases as well. And of course, as our budget allows, NIH has released funding opportunity announcements, such as in the fall of 2008, we had a call to encourage research uh, to uh, improve our understanding of how the lymphatics affect the digestive uh, uh, system, both in health and disease. But I think we can do much, much more. And uh, as we forge new directions and collaborations of further research related to lymphatic diseases, we at the NIH not only uh, work uh, with our scientific partners, but more importantly, we couldn't do this without the patients and patient advocacy groups, especially groups like LEARN. Uh, they're crucial to our success uh, and they're crucial to moving the research uh, needle. So Bill and Kathy and, and all of you here today, I'm really grateful for the time and effort that, that you've given 
uh, and continue to give to help everyone with lymphedema and other lymphatic diseases, and not only found the best treatment today, but as we search for a cure tomorrow, this really isn't a sprint, it really is a marathon. So I look forward to discovering those cures with you. Thanks again for the invitation.